These new charges related to the death of 19-year-old Timothy Piazza range from involuntary manslaughter to aggravated assault to hazing. Twelve former fraternity members were charged after the FBI recovered video that the prosecution says was intentionally deleted back in February when police arrived on the scene. It shows, according to the DA, shocking amounts of alcohol consumed in a very short period of time during this alleged hazing. We are making... We are making holiday plans without our son, Tim, because of your actions. The distraught parents of Timothy Piazza Monday, after the district attorney leveled 150 new charges against 17 former Beta Theta Pi fraternity brothers. The crux of the case, surveillance video from inside the fraternity's basement, previously believed to have been deleted, but now recovered by the FBI. People had asked us before, why would somebody delete that video if they did delete it? And we said that's what we wanted to know. Well, now we know because it contained criminal conduct. Authorities allege the surveillance video reveals Piazza had consumed at least 18 alcoholic drinks in about one hour and 22 minutes. All of these drinks were given to Piazza by a fraternity brother. That's murderous almost. I mean, how, how could you not know that that's bad? Prosecutors say no one called 911 until almost 12 hours after Piazza first fell. We have a friend who is unconscious. The district attorney says House Manager Braxton Becker intentionally deleted the video. He's charged with tampering with evidence as police closed in. We know exactly the time it was deleted and the police were indeed in the house. A criminal complaint filed against Becker and obtained by NBC News reveals in text messages he considered erasing the video after Piazza was taken to the hospital in February. Erasing the camera could be the look as long as no one found out, a brother wrote Becker who responded, I think the exact same thing. In September, a judge dismissed the most serious charges against 18 former fraternity brothers, but ordered 14 of them to stand trial for lesser charges. Joseph Ems, whose charge was dismissed, now faces three new counts, including hazing. I don't think he was guilty of anything the first time they charged this, and we were successful in representing him then, and I don't think he's guilty now. Let's see the tape. The tape will speak for itself. All of those previously charged have denied any wrongdoing. As for Braxton Becker, we reached out to his attorney. He did not respond to our request for comment. He's expected in court next month for a preliminary hearing. Matt Savannah, back to you guys. All right, Stephanie Goskett, Penn State, for us this morning. Thank you, Steph. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.